we've been in team workouts uh, for a few weeks now. Uh, uh, we've got two spring opportunities. Uh, the first one is in uh, this this Friday uh, against Illinois Chicago. We've got uh, uh, a lot of talent coming back, but not a lot of numbers right now in the gym. We've got nine nine returning players. Uh, uh, the the uh, the number of players we've had on a given day have, has kind of fluctuated uh, a little bit as people are making their way back from uh, from some different surgeries and health things and, and stuff. But uh, trying to grow and 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 get a little bit stronger, uh, growing our game individually uh, until some of the newcomers get here. We'll have a large class that we'll be getting here, um, uh, sprinkled out of different parts through. Um, through the summer and uh, and then ready to get going. It's, uh, I think it was uh, we, we just got approved a couple of days ago. We're, we'll be a part of a, a week zero uh, match or, or tournament, and uh, I think the details of that is uh, will be announced at a later date. But we'll uh, we'll start our, our season a little bit sooner than than most of the rest of the people. And then I think on Friday we just got approved. Uh, to have a uh, a preseason that goes from 17 to, to 22 days, um, which is a little bit longer runway than what than what we've had the past couple of years. Still not long enough, uh, but um, uh, that's kind of where the the state of the union is right now. Uh, Kelly, you talked about the injuries. Can we get a general status update on some of the girls and what those surgeries looked like the offseason? Yeah, the, um, uh, you know, Sage Damro has been out for a, a good portion. I mean, the, the surgeries that she's had to have, uh, you know, pretty long, as, as we know, pretty long uh, and, and hard rehabs. And uh, She's just now starting to do a little bit of volleyball activities right now, which is you know which is fantastic. Her spirit has been really really high the past you know week as she's been able to do a little bit more on court stuff, and so you know we're really happy with the progress she's 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 on right now. But we're still probably a little bit ways away for for her. Uh, you know we're hoping that we're you know by the time the season gets here that we're you know we're. We're off and running with with Sage and uh, Caroline Crawford had uh, had a hip surgery after uh, after the season and uh, you know it's feeling really good. Not sure if she'll play this weekend, but she's uh, but she's been doing about everything in practice. Has been really good, feeling great, she's feeling better than she has in a long long time. Certainly trending that way. Uh, those have been the big, the, the big nuggets, uh, things that they've already commented on. So, I mean, they've already, uh, you know, uh, it, um, you know, and then just, just little things here and there, but you know, it's not enough people to play six on six. So we haven't done any of that. So that's one of the, one of the things that we're excited about on this Friday is the opportunity to play, you know, where, where the ball is actually flowing back and forth and being able to, uh, to get into a rally and to be able to defend and and all that we've we've done zero of 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 that so that that part might be a little bit rough and uh but that's that's all right obviously there's such a big layoff between mid december when you know the season ends to august whenever the regular season starts so how important are these spring matchups to be able to get just an eye test of your team and kind of a gauge of, of where you're at <sighs> I don't know if it's in a uh, the spring matches are to gauge where we're at it so much. I think just mentally, it just feels good to go out there and compete against somebody, you know, especially when you're just grinding away. You know, we're these guys are in the in the weight room six six thirty in, in in the morning four days a week, and uh, and uh, you know we're practicing right now four days a week. Uh, on top of that, then most of these most of these guys are are coming in on their own for additional work, uh, kind of peppered throughout the week. So I mean, it's it's a it, this is this is the time of the year, you know, about every sport, especially the fall sports, that are just you're doing it without without cameras, without you know fans, you know, without competition. It's just it's hard. It's just it's where you it's where you put the work in during the right to to you know to to be where you want to go and um 
you know, I think a little bit when you get a little fans in there and you get some, uh, you get a, a scoreboard and another team over there, man, it just feels good. It just you can let loose a little bit. So it's it's more it's almost more mentally than it is about anything else. So I, I know it, it, this time of the year you could care less who's on the other side of the net if you're a player, I would guess. And so you know who we're playing probably doesn't matter one iota. Just the fact that they'll open up the doors, they'll sell some concessions, they'll play a little bit music. The the video board will be up there, and there'll be a little bit of extra juice in the field house that they'll be fired up about that. Oh, Coach, can you just uh, give us what you've seen from, from Carly Anderson so far? And, you know, with such uh, – with not being able to play six on six, you know, what can a setter get out of you mm. know, this time of year? Man, uh, Carly is better – uh, than what I and how she's approached things than what I would have even have thought or hoped for. Uh, that she is, she is here for a purpose. You can tell that every and it's it is about the kid's a gym rat. She she's in there all the time. You constantly, you know, I get I go to lunch and I see her with with somebody just uh, you know after a morning practice. Here, let me set you a few balls. I, I leave later on at night and she's back here with somebody else. You know, serving at a, at a at a passer. She loves being in the gym. She soaks up information. She's just constantly looking for for things to get better. She's uh, I think she's an easy player to play for. She's just you know she wants to be really good for her teammates. She doesn't shy away from from where she's at, who, who she's with. I mean, she's she's probably has as much. Setting experiences anybody in the country, you know, the number of matches that she's played. I think she started every match for four years. And so she comes in with a lot of self-confidence, self-belief, uh, a lot of maturity. Uh, she's fit right on in. I mean, it's a, she hasn't, she hasn't blinked. She doesn't flinch. A number of Badger teams have um, athletes, both uh, current and alumni, preparing for various Olympic trials. What's the Olympic picture look like for our volleyball alumni? Hmm. Uh, well, there's a lot going on right now. You've got uh, Dana Redke is playing for a Champions League uh, title coming up in the next couple of weeks. So she's playing on one of the probably one of the top two, three teams in the entire world right now. And they're playing for basically their Super Bowl um, uh, the first week of May. Um Lauren Carlini is currently in Anaheim training with the national team. They will be uh, she'll be trying to make that Olympic roster along with with Rutke. Um and uh, that'll probably be decided sometime in early June. They'll be heading off to Volleyball Nations League to, to train. Redke will be joining them after she's done with Champions League. Uh, then we've got a lot of people playing pro right now. Uh, uh, Sydney Hilly and uh, Grace Loberg and Daniel Hart, uh, Timmy Thomas, Ilara, all of them are playing for PVF. And um, I think Danielle has been out with a concussion for a while. I think her season is done. Uh, but the other three have been playing uh, c quite a bit. Um, the uh, so there's there, there's there's a lot going on with uh, with a lot of the pro stuff, and then you've got uh, you know League One volleyball, love volleyball that's starting a, a, a league in November, and we'll have a um, uh, might have some Badgers playing on this team as well. So there we, we've got them going every direction, and hopefully we'll have a couple Badgers there in Paris. Uh, you know, I, I plan on being there with my family and, and uh, rooting on anybody that's, that's, that's going to be performing there. And then we've got, we've got an incomer uh, that is coming in, uh, Trinity Shad Siris, that it will be at the Olympic trials for Canada for track and field. And uh, uh, I think they feel like that she's got a really good chance of making the roster in, in, in the long jump. So hopefully she'll, she'll be there in, a, in another discipline. Kelly, it's obviously been a few months since we've all seen you in this kind of setting. So what have the past few months been like for you from a reflection standpoint? I mean, how do you treat those, you know, months between the end of the season in December and, and once spring volleyball gets going? It's a, uh, I mean, there's a lot, right? I mean, you've got team stuff and you've got the stuff that's outside the team. Um, you've got recruiting. 
you know, and then you've high, high school recruiting and, you know, and a little bit of the portal stuff as, as well. So there's uh, – right now we're at a phase where we're traveling a lot, you know, this past weekend in, in Salt Lake City and, and Louisville uh, recruiting a, at tournaments at both of those. We're at a, we're at a high – club, club, mat, uh, club practices all the time. Uh, trying to help our team grow as well, you know, being here for early morning workouts. So this is a uh, – we had a lot of people that graduated uh, from our team, but, but a lot of our significant uh, people that touched uh, the first contact and third contacts, we got a ton of that, uh, almost all of them returning. Uh, we've got as much, much experience as anybody – uh, in the country as much as I've ever had that, that's coming back. And <clears throat> I know they're hungry. We're trying to figure out, uh, you know, leadership, and we're trying to, um, you know, make sure that we're all on the same page. That's not to say that, you know, uh-oh, they haven't been on the same page. That's not it. But every year you've got to, you know, let's let's figure out where we're going and how we're getting there. And, you know, and, you know, we've got some different voices in the room that are being utilized differently than what we've had in the past. We've had some good leaders that just that just left the program. Uh, so there, there's a little bit of a, a shift that's that's kind of happening <clears throat> that is natural. Um, but it's fun. This 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 group's this group's really hungry. I mean, it's uh, uh, the last hour uh, of their season last year wasn't very good. And uh, and that's it was a fantastic season. It was one of the best seasons in, in program history. But uh, but then an hour that wasn't very good. And uh, and that's that's a hard pill to swallow. It's it's hard to to leave that. And uh, and what was and the the endings are usually hard. You know the previous year that was pretty pretty tough. Um, but you uh, you circle the wagons and and you try to come up with a plan to give yourself every opportunity as possible together to 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 try to get to the top of the mountain and um, I, that we're uh, we're in the mud right now uh, in, in a good way trying to trying to dig and, and try to try to grow and and um, and and try to get to where a lot of these guys have never been to and where some of them have been to and try to try to get that taste again. Um, your mention of Trinity, Trinity made me wonder. Now, is obviously she's here for going to be here for volleyball. Has there been any discussion, or has she expressed any? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know where I'm going. Yeah, I know where you're going. Express any interest in dual sport athlete? Right. right. It's a. Um, I mean, she's capable of doing that. It's a. Um, uh, she she's not shown an interest in doing that, and. Um, it's amazing the talent that she has for a sport. Uh, she says she doesn't particularly enjoy that much. I think she really enjoys the. Uh, um, but it's amazing. She, uh, you know, her mom was an amazing, amazing track athlete, and this kid is is a really, really, really special uh, track athlete. Uh, I think her. That was one of the things we, you know, we had to figure out while we were going through the recruiting process. Kid loves volleyball. That's where she's her heart is right now, and. And um, uh, she's got she's got talent to be pretty special. We've got to get her up to speed. She's got to get used to the speed and the power of the college game. And um, uh, but she's uh, she's her ceiling is 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 awfully awfully special. Uh, and we're hoping that she's she misses the first few days of, of preseason where she's. She's still over there in Paris is, is kind of the hope. But if she's not able to make that and she'll get in here a little bit sooner and, and get around uh, Kevin, our strength coach, and, and all of those guys, but she might be a little bit uh, late arrival. Um, the, week, the week zero tournament you were um, mentioning that hasn't been officially announced yet, so week zero, in essence, like we got the um, – that's going to be the weekend essentially before Labor Day weekend, or is that earlier than, than that? Uh, I think it's scheduled to be a midweek match uh, going into the opening weekend. 
And this was something that was on, it's been on the books for a long time. It used to be called the ABCA Showcase. And, uh, uh, but I don't think they've really done it in probably 15, 20 years, probably. It's, it's just, you know, just rising up from the dead, I guess, if you will. It's a, uh, um, I think we see there is an opportunity and, and you've got some of the top teams in the country that have agreed to be a part of this. Uh, I think this is a year one thing that they are hoping to make a lot bigger moving forward, but they just got approval like within days of, of being able to uh, – some of the uh, – in the format that they're wanting to do it and, um, you know, and get the, hopefully some TV partners and location, all those things. So it's, it's a um, – it's been discussed for a while and it's just – coming together, just finalizing, and I think they're probably pretty close to announcing a where and who, uh, but it's something I'm really excited about, and I think Badger fans, uh, the competition coming into the fall is just going to be, you know, really, really good. Uh, our, that, that one match, it'll be one match uh, for that week zero. I think people will tr- – totally be willing to travel to go watch that and be a part of that. And uh, uh, then our first weekend over there with Pfizer, you know, against uh, Texas and Stanford. It's, uh, I think both those matches, I think, will be on Fox. And, I, you know, totally expecting that to be sold out like our match was against Marquette there. Uh, I, you know, and then you're going right into the, the Baylor and TCU. And then I it just, I'm really excited about the competition that, that our players are going to get and, and our young players are going to be able to experience right out of the gate and, and the crowds and, and fans that they're going to be a part of.